Hi, I'm Garth from Rock and Soup. Uh, on behalf of the Spider Shop, this here is a cobalt blue tarantula, Cyriprocopus lividus, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at her and her enclosure. Thanks for watching. This is the burrow of my Cyriprocopus lividus. The cobalt blue tarantula. It's housed in a uh, large cylindrical uh, enclosure and decorated with uh, some natural kind of stuff. Leaves and um, jungle deco kit and a bit of stuff that I collected myself. The burrow is directly in the centre, which is pretty handy. <laughs> I'm just going to try and tease her out. Well, <clears throat> she might not want to come out, to be honest. Here we go. Come on. And they're super fast. Okay, so we're going to try and do is we're going to try and put her out here so we can get a really good look at her. And she's exceptionally difficult to film because of her speed and her defensiveness. So I'm going to try and just show you the colours on her. They are fabulous, aren't they? All I'm trying to do is get her to go on the floor, but she's really not a happy chappy at the moment. So I'll just keep showing her like this for you, just so you can get to see. Now these guys are from Thailand. This is an adult female. They are quick to grow and they're exceptionally defensive spiders so when you get these you're going to have to watch your fingers because you see how quick they are and also as well they require a very deep substrate anything over kind of 8 to 10 inches in the wild they're found in burrows very 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 deep they like it quite humid, but not soaking. And you've always got to take care with these guys, all right? Because they are quick to bite. And they have quite potent venom. So all Cerepagopus, ex haplopelma all have quite strong venom. And... Uh, they're not afraid to use it. I'm telling you, they're really not afraid to use it. But, I think you'll agree, the colors on those is absolutely worth it. Oops, you've got a foot on the ground. How cool is that? Exceptionally cool. You'll notice um, that males, if, you, if you've got a male, they're uh, dull and brown with a stripe down each leg. And you can usually tell a male from a female a couple of molts before he matures. Absolutely in love with these spiders. When you see them, it's uh, a real real rarity and it's a real real joy just to see so yeah that's the cobalt blue i'm going to pop her back now into her enclosure and i'll show you just the enclosure so you can see what i mean okay so i'm not going to faff about with this right so i'm going to pop her uh, tub directly over her enclosure so hopefully she'll go straight back into a burrow but uh knowing these spiders nothing is simple usually 
no, so she doesn't want to do that. So then what I'm gonna have to do is just use my tweezers and just pop her down. Just like that. Let's zoom in there. Cobalt blue. You know, wicked cylindrical ter ter terrarium. Well, there we go, peeps. She's back on the shelf. Uh, again, if you like what I do on the Spider Shop channel, hit the subscribe button here. Head over to ArachnaTube, subscribe on that too. Uh, these guys are mint and every uh, keeper should have one in their collection. But again, watch your fingers. Stay safe for now. Take care.